We have a flight booked out of Beijing very early tomorrow morning, so Emma has suggested we stay tonight at a hotel close to the airport, a hotel she thinks I might find interesting. And she's right. Is 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 this is this what this is our destination over here? This is where yeah. we're going. Well, I didn't know we were staying with Louis the Seventeenth. Hotel Chateau Lafitte is jaw-droppingly bizarre. Well, certainly, looking at that, you wouldn't uh, think you're in China. You wouldn't think you're in China at all, would you? The hotel was built in 2004 and is based on a 17th-century French chateau called Maisons Lafitte. World's most expensive washing line just over there. It feels more Disney or Vegas than Beijing, but it was built for the modest sum of $50 million by a prominent Communist Party member, Mr Zhang. So what do Chinese people think of this? A lot of actually very rich Chinese people, they don't have a lot of taste. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they probably love it. Yes. I was keen to meet the man behind this extraordinary venture. Yes, I can't help feeling I'm a little bit underdressed for this, I think, somehow. Yeah. But sadly, Mr Zhang had been unavoidably detained. He had, however, arranged for me to be upgraded to one of the hotel's Very premier serious, suites. Serious. OK. Thank you. Six, six, six. Yeah. Yes, it's not considered lucky back in Britain. <laughs> Thank you. It's considered the mark of the devil. <laughs> Maybe it's just that the hotel is a little intimidating for your average Chinese traveller. But as I make the long march to my room, it's clear that business isn't exactly booming. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. Which way are we going? Is it... Uh, I think it's upstairs. Upstairs. Haven't they got an authentic 17th century lift that can get us to the top of the... Yeah. Uh, I can see I'm going to be tempted to slide down these tonight. <laughs> Several kilometres later, and we had to admit that we were lost. Maybe this is your room. <laughs> Do you sure. think so? Is this 666? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> so I just sort of settled down in the corner over here. <laughs> the chateau is built on nearly 1,000 acres of land, which used to be home to 800 farmers. But as a senior party member, Mr Zhang used his influence to gain permission both for his hotel and a further 1,000 luxury homes yet to be built in its pseudo-French shadow. But it's not all bad news for the displaced farmers. The more able-bodied can earn up to $2 a day for maintaining the grounds, a reasonable manual wage in today's China. Back in the chateau, meanwhile, I had finally tracked down my room. Oh, there you are. Come in. Welcome to my palace. Everything here is of a massive scale. You've got a massive television, a massive painting. This light here is uh, not natural daylight. That's artificial light that we've got going through here. But this is just my entertaining area. The bedroom is several storeys above. I've left my suitcase down here because um, basically this is a long way up and as you're gonna, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. There's really no point in getting a hernia coming up these stairs. So if you look around, you'll see bits and pieces where it's not quite finished. There's a sort of bit of, sort of wood sticking out there and uh, various sort of... Now this way it suddenly gets much smaller because we've, we've, I mean, it's all sort of it's all MDF stuff, isn't it? There are oxygen cylinders available. This is the, uh, the main bedroom, as you can see, and massive, huge ceiling. It's like a big, sort of glamorous warehouse. Hello! That's how you get room service, apparently. Now, what could possibly be in here, do you think? Let's have a look. It leads to another little room, and then we go into this little room here. There's a cupboard. But this is, what this bit here is, I don't know, but this, this back bit's the cupboard. Ideally, there should be another door behind that, another door behind that, another door behind that. And eventually you find Narnia. Even a bit up here as well. It's, it reminds me of the, the house in Citizen Kane, Xanadu. When a man has too much money, he builds something like this. It doesn't have any sort of heart or soul to it. It's just absolutely horrendous. Later that evening, and I'd settled down to a nice glass of French red wine and a cosy dinner a deux with Emma. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> when who should finally appear but the elusive Mr Zhang. Oh, Johnny, Johnny, oh. 
Mr. Zhang Yucheng, the owner of the Chateau. Ah, you are the owner. Yeah, this is Paul. So, what do you say to a man who's just wasted fifty million dollars? You must be very, very proud of your achievement. Yes, yes. I think if I can bring the culture of Asia to China. 让这个很多没有去过欧洲的人看到欧洲文化，是我的一个愿望。So、basically, I'm very proud because I can actually bring the European culture to China for those people who haven't been to outside of China to see the European culture. I feel very proud. Mm. Mm. Oh, well, congratulations! Many congratulations. Well, I could have chatted with Mr. Zhang all night, but luckily I didn't have to. And after my gastronomic meal and a bottle of red wine. I was looking forward to a good night's sleep in my cosy little mausoleum. But in the early hours, I was awakened by a rather ghastly noise, which seemed to be coming from somewhere beneath my roof. What the hell is going on in here? What is this? Who's in charge? Can you can you turn the sound down? Just turn turn just turn the sound down. Just, just, Just turn the sound. Sorry, yeah. Right, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, 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 okay. I just need the sound. Turn the sound. No, 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 no. Not only would they not turn it down, they were determined to persuade me to join in. No, 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 no. no, no, no. There's one thing I cannot stand. It's karaoke. No. Oh.